Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing a quick tutorial in Photoshop showing you how to fill in those shapes with images, okay? Or you can fill it in with text. So this will be super quick. I know that Photoshop can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, so I'm going to try to make this as quick and painless as possible. So we are going to start with uh, inserting a shape. So in Photoshop, you have various options to insert shapes. So you can insert rectangles, rounded rectangles, circles, and they even have a custom shape tool where there's like flowers and different things like that that you can also insert. Today, we are going to just be doing a circle. Okay, you'll have the option to um, size the circle to how you want. I'm going to size it to 1500 pixels. You can work in inches, um, but I think when I created the document, I chose to create it in, in pixels. There's no specific reason why. All right, as you see, the circle showed up in black. And that is the most important uh, part of creating the clipping mask, okay? It does not work with um, transparent insides or white insides. I've, I usually use black. You could probably use other colors, but this is the easiest way for me. So once we have this here, now I am going to create another layer. And then go up to place linked image and I'm going to just choose one of these because it's here and it's easy so I'll just choose one of these all right so this is the picture that I'm going to use so it's centered all right so I'm going to go into layer Okay, and on the side, you want to make sure whatever image that you're going to place inside of the shape that you chose is on top, okay, in the layers panel, okay? You want to make sure that is on top of the shape. So then we are going to go into layer, and I'm going to click on to clipping mask. Now, this isn't the only place where you can access clipping mask. You can access clipping mask um, actually over here in the panel where the layers are. But I'm going to access it here. And so we click clipping mask. And now we have our image inside of the circle. So you say, okay, well, I want a little more of the sparkle inside of the circle. You know, it's not showing the full image. So this is what we will do for that. You go into edit. And then there's several options here. You can do free transform or you can do uh, other ways to transform the image. So of course scale, you can rotate it, skew it, distort it. And sometimes I use distort when I want it to kind of fit a shape exactly. Um, yeah, but we're just gonna click free transform. And then you have your anchors here, your bounding box shows back up and you can resize it that way to get more of the image inside. Now, of course, this is a square and I'm trying to fit in, it into a circle. So some of my parts will not show, but I can get most of it to show. Okay, so we're done with that step to show you how to put the image inside of a shape. Um, then I just want to show you that now once we have the image in the shape, you can put text inside of there. So let's click on the text button and I'm just going to click inside, not going to do anything special. And pretty much the same way we created that clipping mask, we are going to do the same thing. So here's our clipping mask and now our words are placed inside of the circle. Okay, so the same thing would apply. You will just go to edit, free transform, and move your words. You can make them smaller. If you want to warp them, you can go to transform here and warp them. 
So you may want to do arc lower and then you can, there's so many different options. Of course, this can be resized. So many different things that you can do. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and you are always welcome to subscribe to my channel. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.